We don't need to film this, honey. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new vlog. We uh, do need an update on how much your suitcase is weighing. No, no, I've just took out a massive stack again. I can't lift it up, Mazzy. <laughs> I can't. I've just took out a massive stack. One thing you have to remember is I did my arm in, so I struggle to lift things. Yeah, I know that. Okay. Right, let's see what you're... No! So what were you? 16.7, which was overweight. <sighs> what are you now? You're going to break me. You're hand. having a laugh. What 90, is it? 20. 20 kilograms. That ain't happening. No, but it's got a lot of my cosmetics in it now. So they need to go into hand luggage. 20 technically. kilograms sorted no. out. Oh, I've just. I've just. That ain't going anywhere. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, whoa. Doing it too tight. Oh. oh dear, I need to loosen it somehow. Oh no, my right mess. Neo! Neo! It's got to go closer, in it? No? Have to do just checking around we've just noticed which what which other one? Oh, that one as well a bit worrying really we've got a yeah. bulge in this one that and one. that one and this one the yeah. others are all right uh, do you think it's overblown well nice no, with the heat being hotter now i think i might just put a tiny bit out yeah, that's quite rarying, isn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't um, like it like that when it's 30 degrees, that's for sure. Gosh, no. Yeah, I'll let a tiny bit out. Or maybe, is it because the... This is in... No. No. No, you can... S oh, I'm scared to even go near it in case it bursts. I'll try and let a tiny bit out, but yeah. I don't like much out. Well, I don't like the look of that. It's almost like now it's a weak spot there, isn't it? Let me just check the others. Are you letting it out? Well, I've let a tiny bit out. Any different? Mm. Oh, oh God, that's right. <laughs> that's all I'm letting out. It's softer, but um, it's still a bulge. So I'm wondering now if that's a weak spot. That's quite drastic, actually, this one. Goes in right like that, look. You can see. If it pops, it pops. Well, we've had it. The end of the world. We've had it a few years now, haven't we? Yeah. Got two more left, have you? Just this one. Oh. Hold on, hold on. I think it's about time we talk about it. What? <laughs> we've had a lot of people say. Get and rid of ask, the windmill. No. What? That's my only one toy in this garden. Let's talk about the roof of the fan. Let's just not bother. <laughs> 
So we have actually had a lot of people notice this and we never mentioned it because it was quite traumatic and traumatizing. So what had happened, I think it was the day or the last campsite before we were off to Spain. I don't know if you're gonna see it. I'll just show you. We are so lucky it never went pierce the van. But what actually happened is, it was about our last campsite before Spain, wasn't it, darling? And um, just caught a tree, didn't you, on campsite? I was but driving along and this tree came fault. and it, it just like went all over. Yeah. And at the time, I was like, the tree, babe, the tree, which yeah. was on a flog. But I'm it saying, was. Get away, tree, get away, and it wouldn't listen, <laughs> would it? But it wasn't until about in Spain, I think it was just in Spain, then we realised what had happened. We didn't realise it had caused so much damage, did we? It we didn't was know quite it caused stressful. any damage. No. We'd been in Spain for nearly a week before we even realised it had happened. Yeah, but we'd gone back on all the videos and it was from this occasion. So we have had a lot of people say, you know, spot it because in the sunlight, you, you, it's so drastic, isn't it? Mm. But um, not good. Not good, but it could have been worse. It could have actually pierced the van. If you can see this proper in real life, like it looks like it's this close from piercing the van. So what we've decided is one day, <laughs> one day, Dan's going to buy one of those pull-out awnings, aren't you, darling, to fix the problem? Not necessarily, because it won't fix the problem. I no, might just take it hide to it. someone who might be able to fix it. I don't think they will. But yeah, that's what we are wondering, whether to get one of those pull-out awnings. Big long strip across we there were, to hide But it. if there's anyone watching this who knows a company who can deal with big bumps and scratches on motorhomes. No, dents. Dents. It's a big bad one. <laughs> it is bad. Um, let us know. There must be a company out there who can sort it out, Mazzy. Somehow. Yeah, I mean, to, to be fair, it wasn't Dan's fault. It was a very tight corner on this particular campsite. And at the time I was going, babe, the tree, the tree. That's all I remember. And that's when it happened. Maybe what they do is put a bit of fiberglass into it and then sand it all back in and then colour it. Don't know. Don't know, yeah. There must be a way of doing it. Someone yeah. let us know, please. We need a good company for that. Yeah. So it's probably going to be cheaper than an awning. I, I feel still to this day, we're still a bit traumatised from it, that we, we don't even like talking about it amongst ourselves, do we? No. <laughs> and when people bring it up, like people who come and meet like us. You. So many people now can notice it with the sun and everything, but it wasn't Dan's fault. But anyway, the truth is out there. Hurry up, hurry up. I know. Go and get it then. Go on, go on. He'll be back in one minute. <laughs> what is it? What is it? It's my holiday clothes. <laughs> Yay! It's all my clothes for my holiday. Are you ready for these? Yes. Right, I'm going to open them all on camera live, yeah? Let's just go for it. I think I've got 11, 12 items. Brilliant. What was the company called? Can't remember. So I got a parrot, because I like birds. Okay. A parrot shirt, yeah? Yeah. What else have I got? <laughs> I think this is Kermit. Oh, this is fantastic, man. Kermit the Frog shirt. Can you see him? Yeah. Kermit. So Beautiful. I hope you're going to be keen to want to pack now. Pack? Pack your suitcase. No, I'll just leave them there for now. Uh, oh, this is a sensible one. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I think that were only about three quid. Does it really say Jesus on it? I think it does. Never mind. No, it don't. If that it's fits, nice. I like it. Yep, I like that. Keep going. Loads of tops. You know, you, people it's... go into like next and spend 150 quid on one thing. I've got all this. Uh, that's not the colour trousers I feel like you picked. Uh, well, we'll do. They're very light, They're nice. you see. Yeah. It's going to be 25 to 30 degrees. I just needed something light, yeah? Yeah. Definitely. Happy with them. This is what Neil's going to be well gel of. Jelly! I've just been telling him, I said, wait till you see what I've got. <laughs> Neil, he's you, got, he's you got need a this thing. in your life. 
Yeah. I could see Neil being campsite warden for a day in there. He's actually got a duck head in the office. Um, <laughs> it'll go beautifully with this. It's exactly the same kind of duck, same colour. That is I beautiful. like it. It's all fun. It's all fun shirts for the holiday. No, it's not it? meant to be fun. Oh, okay. It's all serious shirts for the holiday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these were, I think, three quid. So, well, again, like my sheen haul, it's all kind of cheap items, isn't it? Yeah. You do worry about where they make this stuff. Is it in sweatshops in China and it's slavery and stuff? I don't know. I'm hoping not. Oh, they're funky. Yes. They're not. They're not swim shorts. It said swim shorts. No, they're, they're just not. shorts. But splat, bam, boom. Yeah. Yeah. About three quid. Three quid. Is it bringing you back to your teenage years? I bet you wore Bermuda shorts like that as a kid, didn't you? Uh. I might have done. <laughs> what else have we got? Oh, this is a sensible one, I think. Yeah, that's nice. No, I can't remember ordering that. That is nothing like the one I ordered. Oh, uh, well, that's what you're up against. Yeah, this is the first big disappointment. No, I like it, though. I'll tell you what, it actually matches your trousers, though. But it is nothing... The one I saw was cotton. This is, like, cheap, poly, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Now this, this was £14, and then I found it on a different site uh, for four quid. Yes. So, not happy. Because I thought for 14 quid I were happy. Yeah, this other website actually sells the exact same clothes. Yeah. That ain't bad, That's is nice. It? And can you imagine for four quid? Yeah. I you could, I you do take a chance buying these things, don't you? Yeah. It looks big, babe. I, don't, I like big. I like big and baggy. Yeah, I like that. I'll fit in it, don't worry. Yeah, I like the orange little touches on that. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, this is for all you swingers out there. Swing! Let's make sure I get these pineapples the white. Right oh way no, that's horrible. Yeah. And do you know the worst bit about it? It's got a real deep like collar where you're meant to show like your little chest off there. Oh no, it's horrible. Actually, that don't quite look like the picture though, does it? Some of them don't, Mazzy. No. Um, one th two things left. I had to get something vanished, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, now, you might have, people might have seen these on their adverts between scrolling on things, mightn't they? Yeah. You know, it's bright. I quite like that. It's all right. Yeah. And it's last fun. but not least, the best of them all. Let me open this behind your back. <laughs> I should try this on, really. Oh, yes. Are you ready for this? Oh, it's got one of them necks again, Mazzy. Oh, has it? What, show your chest? Donna kebab. A Donna kebab shirt. <laughs> all I need now is a Donna kebab. Look at them all, Mazzy. There's loads of Donna kebabs. Some of yeah. them have got tomato in, some of them have got pepper in, some of them have got cheese in. They've got all different things in them. Well, it's nice to be unusual, isn't it? The best one, actually, we saw was a barbecue one, and yes. you didn't order it, did you? So I, I might do. But, yeah, some of them I'm not happy with. Um, the necks. I yeah, wasn't expecting these 1970s show your chest necks. Yeah, it's a bit 70s, that isn't, isn't it? That isn't me at but all. But you could wear, like, a white t-shirt underneath i'm gonna have to yeah but then i'm gonna be too hot or if there's a spare button which i doubt there is mm. i could so that, possibly that do one it. i'm not too keen on the neck that one's a bad neck and that doesn't look anything like the picture yeah but that's not terrible but yeah overall yeah and i think that is the that's quite part. smart as i say you can get this for four, four pound four pound fifty i'd wear that big. So, we'll yeah, see. that's come up big, isn't it? What? That's probably a medium you ordered, isn't it? No, large. Oh, you ordered a large? I always get large because of my big muscles. They'd fit me everywhere else, but my bus muscles, <laughs> it hurts if I have it too tight there, and that's about the thickness of my muscle. All right, you know what you've got to do now, don't you? Oh, fold them all. Fold them all up and pack. I need them in my case for me holiday, Mazzy. Oh, no, you don't. No, That's too much case. weight. No, we've case. already got 25 kilos. Are we having a try-on haul, then? 
Yeah, I'm gonna try them on for you. Hurry up. Oh, wow. <laughs> so this is my green number, my Kermit number, a frog. Very green. But your trousers fit very well, don't they? I like them. What do you think? Yeah. I think everything fits well there. Oh, it definitely fits well. That yeah. fits well. Happy with that. Sorted. Yeah. Moving on. Not happy. Oh, I like that. No, no. Look, I need I need a t-shirt on under this. Okay, you can. Yeah. All it's right. very it's very see-through, and. If you tie the top bottom, which I'd like to do, yeah, it doesn't fit right. Look, it's got a big crease. Oh, yeah. It's badly designed. No, I think it's meant to no, be open. Meant. Yeah, but I don't. I'm not an open kind of guy. Turn around. I like that top. I actually quite really like I it. I preferred it without me in it. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I need a t-shirt under that one. <laughs> New nipple. <laughs> I can hear Dan laughing and I'm getting a fit of giggles now. Next! It's a bit big for me this one, what? it's a bit big. Oh, yeah that is big. It's a bit big for me isn't it? Yeah. Should have gone for medium. Well it is nice. Hey, you see I'd normally go for large in England. Yeah. So you've got to go for large and presume it's going to fit. Turn around, let's check it out. I, I like it though. But I didn't really get this for holiday. I, I'll be honest, I got this to wear on the way there on the plane. But it's too, it's a bit big. It is a bit big. I yeah. might just hang can't, around campsite with it on now and again. Can you sort of tuck it up? Yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I can wear it in my pants. Yeah, I like that. But my mum used to say if a man tucks his top into his bottoms, his, uh, what did she call him? A stranger. A stranger? Don't talk to him, he's a stranger. I said, how do you know he's a stranger? Because he's got his coat tucked into his pants. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> I were about 18 before I realised a stranger wasn't someone who puts the coat in the pants. True story that. We're in square in Keefley, if you remember, Mother. Next! <laughs> I just can't stop laughing. Sorry, honey. Now that fits. <laughs> That's my carrot number. <laughs> Has it got bird poop on back, Mazze? Uh, it's got all sorts going on. Yes, there's definitely bird poop. <laughs> Do you remember when we were looking at can, pictures and it looked like a splatter of bird poo on back? Yeah, it's not quite a splatter. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> Sorry. But the beauty about it is, it looks like a bit of an owl in the bottom uh, corner. I don't know if that's what you call it. It but fits me. Yeah, yeah, next. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. What are you laughing at? That's the comfiest one I've had on. That's really comfortable. I'm not sure with those pants, but... It's the same colour, it blends in. <laughs> I'm just laughing. I can't wait to see you in the shorts. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. I actually like that one. You know what's amazing about this one? What? You know, it's got vans on it. Yeah. It smells like old vans. Does it? Mm -hmm. Does it smell? You know, like... Engines. Oh, okay. Turn around. Let's that have fits, a look. Don't it? Yeah, I don't mind that one. I am doing well. I'm yeah. doing well. I'm not happy about this. You're not happy. This is oh. <laughs> this is me done a kebab number. I don't like this. What's this all about? I ain't got the chest for these, Mazzy. I'm gonna have to wear t-shirts under these. Oh, turn around. Yeah. You can smell the lettuce. <laughs> no, you can. They like scritch and scritch and sniff. Scratch and sniff. There's my Donna kebab number. I'll be wearing that for my Barbies. Oh dear, Lord God. Right, I'm starting to feel. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like a pimp. I need t-shirts under. Oh, you know what's wrong with these? What? Don't look too bad like that. If I could get a button in there, I'd be happy. 
I could probably do that. Yeah, but there ain't a spare button. Yeah, but listen, are you really still going to be wearing this pineapple shirt? Yeah. You are? I like pineapples. It's a nice bright number. Okay. It's just that. Look at it. <laughs> mm, I think I've just got two more things to try on. Oh, God. Oh, dear. <laughs> when I go swimming with my swim shorts on <laughs> and my duck top that fits perfect fit that uh, I actually like the duck top that's actually quite smart and them do the shorts fit yeah sort of they look tight round your waist can you bend over <laughs> I can get away with them I look good in anything my mum always said that <laughs> It's even got a back pocket for my wallet. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So yeah, that's my full uh, outfit range for my holiday. What do you think? Yeah, very good. Thank you very much. Might yeah. keep these on for the rest of the day. No, no, it's, it's getting cold. Go and put some trousers on, darling. It's really cold now. Wind's getting up a little bit. New David Bellamy rescuing bees. We've got a lot of bees Loads caught of up. Bees. We only have this one door open and they're all coming yeah. in. So I'm trying to take them out and take them over to my bird box. But the, trying to rescue but them. But they don't want to come out of, of the packet then. Oh, they don't. Into your insect box, you mean? I'm trying to get them to go in all, but they're happy in here. Yeah, I think that's more for like wood lice and eerie weeds. No, so. it's for everything, Mazzy. Oh! Oh! What happened there? Oh, no. I'm sure I felt something land on my foot. Oh, he's oh, he sounds there. angry. He's not angry, he's just. Where's my mum? Where's my mum? Yeah, he don't want to stay in there, he's lively. Yeah, but we don't want to kill them. Dad, we've been doing this practically every day, haven't we, babe? We have to, because they don't know how to leave. Go on, just free him, free him. Just free him. What? He's gone in your hole? Yeah, he's in there. So, so that's for bees, so that's that one's going to have to be for worms and that one for slugs and that one for flies oh my gosh, he has, and that for maggots. He's in there. He's actually in there. Can he get out again though? Of course he can. But he won't want to come out of there, he'll want to live there, Mazzy. That's going to have honey dripping off the bottom of it by the end of the week. Is there any more? <laughs> And tea for tonight. So we're going to have our sexy pizzas that we bought from um, Iceland the other day. And a few fries. But I have jazzed these up. <laughs> right, so they did look like for one that they needed extra cheese. Although Dan's one was fully meaty. I've added extra cheese, jalapenos and some red onion. On mine, mine's cooked. I've added extra cheese red onion and some pesto also actually i put just a sprinkling because i like italian herbs on my pizzas and just a tiny little sprinkling on dan's and that's our tea tonight our sexy sexy pizza hello you're back you got my parcel i've got more than your parcel what you got a present from neil from neil come on round i don't think you're gonna like it no? What's he got me? <laughs> what are you, are you ready for this? Yeah, what is it? Oh no. Yeah, he's got us an upside down pineapple, Mazzy. Oh no. Oh, and we've got to hang it in his garden. Is We're getting one of them big poles, you know, what you put the owls on, or kites, uh, yeah. flags and stuff. And we're going to hang that up. No, because everyone's going to be round us every night and they're going to be waiting for the flashing lights. Mazzy, we're not that good looking. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is 
If you're right. a swinger. Hold on, I can see this in here. You need to give him that then. I'm not giving him Oh that. no, not the duck one. Where's the pineapple one? The pineapple one. I told him. I says, I have got a pineapple shirt. Yeah, he's having that in but the I tent. Didn't oh, know. thank you, Neil. I didn't know that he knew about the pineapple thing. He were obviously watching... I haven't spoke to him about pineapples. No. He's obviously been watching his vlogs, talking about upside down pineapples, meaning you're a swinger, so he's probably ordered this. It might not be that. Maybe he already knows about it. I don't know. Let's let's keep it that way, yeah? Yes, and he can now have the pineapple shirt. Funny thing is, I'm playing a game at the moment and there's some pineapples on it. Well, look just like that. <laughs> can you open my parcel then while you're there? Yeah, get some of pizza. It's just gone in the oven. I thought you'd put it in the oven before I set off. No, hey, that was my one. Oh, yeah. Yay. Yay. The, don't know. They look a bit warm. They look and narrow and thin and they small. They look manly. But oh, no. well, I'll wear them. No, I like them. Not wrong with them. I need the hard sole for the campsites. Perfect. Mm. So we have received a gift. Yes. Didn't get them on film. I've just been down there talking to them. <laughs> um, I didn't take the camera with me. Um, but we came over with a lovely gift. Yeah. Now this is Leisure Bit. Where's the piece of it? Here we are. They have their own YouTube channel and I... Is that their name of their YouTube channel? Yeah, I'm subscribed. Oh. Leisure Bit. It used to be called something like Leisure Bit Camping and Tech. Something like that. They've changed it to Le Leisure Bit. I'm not sure. They changed yeah. it. But they did a really good video on the cost of being on electrical cup on campsites recently. Liked that. So... Uh, check them out leisure we do like to advertise other channels don't we we do and the look the so lovely and david is huge i didn't realize he was so tall <laughs> this is from david rachel and roxy roxy the dog I'm they've, guessing. Even, they've even got a fridge magnet and pens even we don't have pens fantastic anyway so we've been given some gifts uh, start off we've got some fresh out the bomb eggs special <laughs> eggs I don't know the story I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't she was telling me the story I think they come from their chickens or their company of chickens I don't know still got but, hay and all but look at that you've got a tiny tiny little egg and then yeah. a massive egg that's proper eggs, isn't I'll it? I'll tell you what, Different though, colours, different they're sizes. They're going to be nice, though. Oh. Certainly are. Yeah. And also, I was given a bottle of Prosecco. Prosecco? You're Prosecco. presuming that's for you. Well, you, you can have it if you want it. No, it's all right. I'll have them. <laughs> yep. For John Smith's, for me. Thank you so, so yeah, much. massive, massive. Ow. Thank you. Get over and check their channel out. Honestly, it does yeah. some really interesting... I say he. Um, they. <laughs> They're a couple. They are a couple, but uh, it's the videos with him which stick in my head, especially that uh, electric one. But uh, them. Thank you very, very Thank you much. Thank very much. I just found these in the bottom of the bag. Look, if you can't find the channel, just scan that. They've got their own QR code. How cool is that? Come with me, come with me. I know we've got a come gun with as me. well. Yes, we actually have our own QR code as well. Thank you to the Radfords. So it's the morning. You don't sound happy. I'm not happy, Mazzy. His hedgehog didn't come last night. He's been coming no. every night, and last night got him a new house, and he didn't even come. It did rain. It did rain, so hopefully he'll be here tonight. <laughs> anyway. Crazy day in today. Yeah, it's <laughs> raining, it's windy, yeah. it's cold, it's not very nice. So we've just been sat down watching his birds on the camera. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to have a breakfast. I don't normally do breakfast, but I have to try this because it just reminds me of being a kid. 
So all you have to do, get two of these out, they're very thin, stick them on some kitchen roll, throw them in the microwave. Oh, there's something in the microwave, hang on. Try again, emptied the microwave. Two of them on there, they're frozen. You're supposed to fry them, says there, grill or fry in two minutes. From memory, if they're the same as what I used to have, you literally throw them in here for one minute. Jobs are good. Oh, we need a new microwave, one with a proper timer on it, instead of guessing. Look, it's showing over a minute there and it's gone off. Well, hold on, you've got the heating on. Can't have all that power going. Right, so one minute for that. Whilst it's doing that, get two slices of bread out and some brown sauce. Cheap one? Yeah, I went for a cheap one this time. Um, I'm trying different brands of brown sauces at the moment. Well, especially at that price. <laughs> I don't mind cheaper brands on certain things. Brown sauce, I'm usually a bit fussy because it's quite fruity is the cheap stuff. I prefer it when you get the smaller bottles as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, just give us a second. Definitely had a minute. Check it out. Oh. And it looks absolutely disgusting. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's normal. It's normal. Honestly, they don't look nice. I'm not saying they look nice. Look at all the fat what comes out of them. That's right. That's why you have to put it on a kitchen roll. Um, yeah, it smells like steak. Stick it in there. Two ain't enough, is it? It is, if you just want a quick snack. You know, it's not a meal. It's just a tiny snack for my breakfast. Brown sauce. Meal in one minute. Try it, guys. Um, I were brought up on these. My mum will kill me for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love them. Mm. Bring back memories. Just how I remember. I'll tell you what it tastes a bit like. The um, the pâtés you make, you know, for burger pâtés. Oh, right, yeah. For really your breakfast. Nice. Breakfast, mm. your breakfast. breakfast. Mm. You should try it. No. <laughs> <laughs> and finished. So it's basically a four minute meal. And when I say four minutes, I mean 30 seconds to prepare one minute to cook two minutes to eat and 30 seconds to clear up after yourself four minutes from thinking about eating to fully finished eating try it maz is going a bit up market what are you having well you've made me hungry now not that i wouldn't eat that so i'm just gonna have a potato bread potato cake is what i call them two of them dry frying pan are they irish i think they are but i don't know so that's Mazzy's breakfast. Yeah. So whilst the kettle is boiling, uh, we would like to give some thanks to people who sent us super thanks. Big thank you to Peter Webster. Thank you, Peter. Kelly Wright. Thank you, Kelly. And Lorraine and Mal. Thank you, Lorraine and who, sorry? Mal. 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 Thank you, Lorraine and Mal. Thank As in you. Malcolm. Ooh. Thank you all so much. Thank you very much for your yeah. super thanks. We do appreciate it. Yeah. Right, we're going to leave this video here. Yep. Um, it is a dreary day. I think we're just going to take it easy today now, aren't we? <sighs> it's just... We did have things we were going to do. Yeah. But, uh, I think we'll just save it for tomorrow and just yeah. have a chill out day, me and my girlfriend, my fiance. <laughs> See you all tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.